What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandoned, the 6'4 Explorer, Explorer with Urbex Sticklin. I got an awesome, awesome, amazing spot for you guys today. Another Brandon Abandoned exclusive. I've got one of Ontario's largest grow operations, marijuana, of course. This place is huge. They've got greenhouses that are longer than a football field. They've got like 20 of them. They've got a whole barn they were using. They've got a house they were using. I'm not gonna give too much away. Now this property as well though, it's completely fenced off with about an eight foot high fence. It's got barbed wire, it's all completely blacked off, but it still has power. That's another thing that's crazy, still has power. So I'm gonna jump right in here. I'm right now in the maze of greenhouses. You guys are gonna love it. Let's get exploring. So over there is all the greenhouses. Right here is the house. Now all the greenhouses, they were being used for growing. But this barn, see how it's all blacked off? And it's got this crazy heavy metal door. It's even got a little peeker. Got two crazy heavy duty locks. And again, this place, it all, it's all got power. Some big old buckets, a bunch of wires, fans. A lot of black mold starting in here too. But this area here, this is the really cool area. So the room we're in, they were using for drying. Got a bunch of fans. Got it polyed off in two sections. Got a bunch of tables that were used. See what it is, is it's mesh. They would chop the weed up and they would put it on here. And then that's what would dry it. All the fans, it hanging out. And now there's probably about, I'd say maybe an ounce worth a weed left on all these drying things but i'm not going to show it close up i'm gonna put out a little short and it's gonna show all of the all the marijuana but for right now i don't want the video to be limited i want it to get shown to everybody so i will be being vigilant with what i'm filming Forgive me, but then you guys will get to see, see it all in a short. I just wanted to show you this back here. Big old fan, got meters on the wall. They got fans in between all of them. And there's another barn that they were using as storage and they had a whole bunch of these shelves that aren't put together yet or were taken apart. Some heavy duty cables. Man, that's crazy. Can't believe I stumbled upon this. And the crazy thing is, this property's been for sale for a while, but nobody's buying it. Obviously because it was used as this grow operation, but 
you wouldn't be able to sell it unless it was a legal grow. And the way that this whole area is fenced off, it's got six foot high fences with barbed wire. It's got black like paper all the way around so you can't see. And on Google Maps, you cannot see the greenhouses. They've got it so it just looks like a forest. So obviously it seems like the government was trying to hide it, I think. More tables, more fans. There's nothing in the cooler. Like, they had this going on, a clipboard with all their papers, so it must have been legit. Chinese writing. That made me think maybe it could have been a a legal, a illegal operation when I seen that. Could have been a triad gang, something like that. But very, very cool. Oh yeah, so somebody, they decided to break a hole in the wall just to see what was going on over here. And it's not much, just empty. Very well insulated so that the weed downstairs would be nice. But is that not cool? This is the drying area. Let's go one more walk downstairs. Oh, look at that too. Bad mold. You got all your poly, extra power bars. More plastic. And that's a giant pot. <laughs> this is where we get to the bottom of the barn. Where they were doing the drying upstairs. Some remnants of some plants. Big old cooking pot with some weird stuff in it. Another giant fan in here. Not much going on, a door. Some cages, a whole lot of wires. There's a ton. A ton of flower pots. Flowers, pots, wires. Like vacuum bag filters, I think. Rolls of mesh for when they were screening up the plants. Sorry about that. Some bamboo sticks and spikes to hold up the plants while they're little. A whole lot more pots. Let's see here. There's a bunch more of the drying screens. Drying screens that aren't put together yet. Got all of your water lines and sprayers. Some shelving. Oh, a big giant pot here. Nothing going on inside. See, a whole lot more screens. Very cool.
we're going into the actual house now got some satellites and a whole lot of stuff going on got the nice door handles so right away starting off we got a whole lot of clone trays for when you're growing Bucket for water. A whole lot of lights here. This is old school. They've got the crank that goes up and lets these stairs down. That's very cool. But check out this behind me. Now the room's absolutely horrible. Covered in mold. And this is in the house and it's with actual metal highlight lights. It's got the ballast and everything hooked up. So I would definitely say that they were doing a little bit of illegal stuff as well. The lights are still here, bulbs are still in. Again, more horrible mold. A terrible, terrible mold. That light's pretty cool too. Is like the cobwebs on here? It's been a while, I don't understand why the power's still on. No, I do not understand why the power is still on. That's very cool. Before we go into that door, I'll just show you. Over here is just another door in. Another little pot. Got a bunch of sprinkler attachments for watering. Horribly rusty sink. Still got a washer and a dryer. Nice little closet. Nothing up there. This place definitely has the abandoned smell going on. Even though it's supposed to be for sale. But again, you can't be selling a, a legal grow up. So, or an illegal grow up. So this must have been legal. Old school TV setup. Look how fat that is. And again, this property was up for sale like 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's just very weird that the power is still on. Nothing in it, right? It was cleaned up, ready. Ready to go for sale. A little tiny room. nice room this floor is horrible at the moment from sitting so long with everything being open the windows and the doors and we're not going upstairs yet and there's still a little bit more to the house I see and we just got a little porch area So that's starting to get. It's got fluorescent lights in here too. They almost sound like they're gonna explode. I don't know if they've been here for a long time. Look how bad that wall is. It's really no wonder why this place isn't hasn't been sold. The stairs are on the other side of that. I'm not sure why they blocked that off. A 
We're not going downstairs yet. See, this is what was blocked off. It's so they could add a washroom. dish of food in it. Like they've got serious bolt locks on all these doors too. As you can see. I think maybe they were using this whole house to grow, not just downstairs. Hmm. That's nice. Probably the only decent looking thing in the house. Besides a chair here. All right. I guess from here then we go downstairs to the basement. All right, so let's see what's happening in the basement. Looks like it had flooded at some point. More tables, more drying tables. The place is all polyed off. Got more drying tables. Oh, look at a big old serious light down here too. So they must have been growing down here as well. You can hear the sub pump struggling to work. Those serious lights everywhere. Crazy. Let's get. Very, very cool. Let's get out of here. All right, everybody. So we're walking up to where all the magic was done. They've even got their camera set up on here. Look how long they are. Got a little John Deere right there too. That's easily the length of a football field. And there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It looks like. They got all their water here. They were turned, so everything was hooked up, coming nice. Tops are cut open, so it's easy to fill. Plus they could get some rain when it rained. We'll jump right into this one here. I wanna show you. Look at the vents they had going on. You don't put a vent system in like that for vegetables. That is 100% for marijuana. And then we've got black poly every so often so that they could close it and make this whole thing dark for when it was needed. I just wanted to show you what that looks like inside there. They've got them all numbered, labeled, got all their beautiful wires. And also on the other side of those, I'll show you here. Nice sliding doors. But each one had serious power to it. Serious power. So you can see up here they had a lot of wires and cables going. They had these vents. They must have also had lights for nighttime and for when they had it closed. 
I definitely would imagine these were quite bright at one time. We got the clock and the humidity meter. Hey, that's just awesome. So cool. That's nuts how many there are and how long they go. And we've got right there at least two. All right, there's one two and then way back over here there was another pile so it seemed like there was three more that must have been taken out at some point this is awesome here we got your pump that was keeping all this water going and this was a serious operation this was no joke i wonder how much weed came out of this place at once that's just so awesome As we get further down here, we've got another power box there. So maybe we'll have to go walk down there and see what was happening. <laughs> it's been a long time since these have been used. Again, this property's been for sale for, I think it was 12 years. I know it was in between 10 and 15. I just can't remember 100%. <laughs> I hope you guys are loving this Explorer because I am having the time of my life here. Just walk in the maze. The football field size maze. This is amazing. Too bad it's not active, filled with beautiful growing plants. Now that's what I would have liked to have seen. Hey bunny, did you see him just right there? I wanna chase him and scare him. There he is, see right there. Excuse me, Bunny, how long has this place been abandoned? How long have you been running this joint? Yeah, see, 13 years. Thank you. Man, <laughs> it just goes so deep. A whole lot of this place is like covered by a hill. And then again, see, it's all fenced off legally. That's normally a legal thing, unless it was just what this specific business person wanted to do just to be safe. Because this could have been around when cameras weren't so dominant, you know? Very, very cool. Oh, this is where we're going. I wanted to see the power box. Yeah, another another water pump set up. They've got all these skids as like a boardwalk. Got another power box down here because it just keeps going and going and going. Maybe I'll buy this property. Start up Brandon Abandons Cannabis. BAC. <laughs> All right, everybody. I guess we check out the barn. You're going to love it. It's a surprise. Just want to show you guys this, too. Where one of the beautiful doors is, they've got it plywooded off from the inside, painted white, and then a doghouse built right at the front. That's kind of strange, no? Blocking off the door for a dog. I definitely think after seeing the basement, this whole house was used for growing. Growing and drying. It's crazy. 
We made it to this little barn here. Let's see what's going on. We got a well, so they're on well water. It's always a bonus. We got a whole lot of bags over there of what looks like dirt. We got a dog bowl. Once we can get over here easier. All right, so these bags here are all bags of shake. Again, I'll show it in the short, but I can't show it on the video. This is just all the shake and the garbage that came off of it. See, I pulled a little bit out there. Very cool. You know, we got to take a peek up here. Boy. Right, so we got some pillows, like somebody was sleeping, maybe. If you didn't see them, they're right here. And then not much else going on up here. The ladder's starting to shake quite good, so that was as far as I was thinking I'm able to make it. The wood's not as sturdy as it used to be. All right, we made it. Very, very cool. Oh. It's crazy. If anybody likes shake, <laughs> there's tons here for you. All right, Explorers, what did I tell you, eh? Was this place not amazing? One of Ontario's largest grow operations. Now, I'm not sure if it was legal or if it was illegal. There's signs saying that it could have been legal, but then the house, I think, was illegal, which must have canceled out the legalness to the whole situation. But again, this is so nuts, especially how on Google Maps, they've got it blocked right out. You can't see it. This is awesome. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Another Brandon Abandoned exclusive. I'm going to keep bringing you guys the coolest spots. I love it. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love. Again, for all your views, for all your support. Brandon Abandoned, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. Women 
no longer undressing. We'll all rise. Close your eyes. The owl was never really all that wise. Athena taking her back to tell him the war was straight whack. Trying to keep the power close. They hanging by the Pinocchio nose. But no room in clutch. Instead of saying that's it, we your balls and your dick. You stand up for the kids. I'm not condoning the guns. I'm talking light wars. Energy from the sun. Jedi's, where you at? And Mortal Tech drew a map. There's been some failures in the back. But we still need to react. Not from old consciousness. Cause I'm sound was right. We ain't shit. We'll get the same consequence. We gotta fight with the mind power of one. Much like they control sun. We must use the strongest weapon that we never really mastered. Yeah, you know it. Uh huh. That's right. Love. From the ashes we will rise. 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 We are the resistance. We arise. From ashes we arise. From ashes we arise. From ashes we arise. Ashes. Cause we got shamans and sages that could fast for months, shoot energy from palms that could melt all the fronts. Cause when we heal ourselves, we heal the enemy. Little did you know they are me, hidden deep, the unfree and them, maybe unfree and we. Being the change you wanna see is not an abstract concept. It's the only way to live and not take the wrong step. Trip fall, you better think quick, no time to stall. Men protect the women, they bear the healing shot.